Welcome to TV station of Yijin Feng Shui, Weixin TV. We are serving you the most professional and informative news of Yijin Feng Shui. Every Monday at 11.30 p.m. current local time in Taiwan, Weixin English News will be broadcasted. Today is October 31st, 2016. This is Fiona Zhang Xinfang serving you the news of new religion of the world Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao of this week. New religion of the world Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi instructed his Weixin Virtuous Fellows to cultivate virtue, polish their words, and nurture their spirits, and follow the eight righteous way to elevate themselves. Using the Orthodox Chinese culture Yi Jin Feng Shui, and integrating Confucianism, Buddhism, Taoism, and other schools of Chinese philosophies, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi enlightens everyone's spiritual wisdom and guides sentient beings from ten directions to follow the religious rites to pray and practice the Dharma for the benefits of our nations and people. According to Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi, Yijin Feng Shui is the great wisdom of the universe, and it is also the best guideline for people who are lost in life. It is the panacea of our mental and physical illness. The integration of Weixin Shenjiao Yijin Feng Shui and religious belief is the most powerful way to harmonize people's soul. Towards this newly developed new religion, all your curiosity and questions will be answered in Weixin Shenjiao feature story. Let's watch. Hello everyone, I'm Ito Fu. This is Julie. Welcome for watching today's feature story. Heaven and Earth create a sect, sages form the religions. Weixin Shenjiao is based on Heaven and Earth as our teacher. We learn and follow the law of the universe to operate. Weixin Shenjiao's orthodoxy was originated from the true god of the universe, Hongjun Laozu. That was about 14,500 years ago. The universe was during the period of primal chaos, that before human life began on Earth. Hongjun Laozu was the first ancestor of Kunlun civilization, opened the primal chaos mystery. He was the great primal ancestor. After Hongjun Laozu, land was ancestor Fu Xi. That was about 7,000 years ago. He made the first drawing to create the heaven and the second drawing to divide the earth. That is Wu Ji. Wu Ji is the undifferentiated timelessness, refers to a state of non distinction prior to the differentiation into yin and yang. Wu Ji is considered as the primordial, as Buddhahood. Wu Ji is emptiness. It is the earlier heaven sequence, also called primordial ba gua, xian tian ba gua. After ancestor Fu Xi, then Jiu Tian Xuan Yu inherited the knowledge and came out of the Tai Ji. Tai Ji represents the spark of movement, time and space, the cause and effect. Tai Ji produced two forms. These two forms produce four phenomena. It is the latter heaven sequence, also called manifested Ba Gua, Ho Tian Ba Gua. Jiu Tian Xuan Yu then passed on the knowledge of Ba Gua to three Chinese ancestors, Yellow Emperor, Yan Emperor, and Xiao Emperor. Yellow Emperor and Yang Emperor inherited and censored Fu Xi's primordial heaven Ba Gua, which is the feng shui studies of mountain, river, and land. Fu Xi was inspired by his observations of the patterns of the universe, nature, heaven, and earth. Fu Xi created earlier heaven sequence, which represents intrinsic natural, natural phenomenon. The development of earlier heaven sequence accounted of culture, foods, clothing, transportation, medicine, and agriculture. So Yellow Emperor was known as the first Chinese culture ancestor who stands for mutual support, the association or family among of different groups that bind society together. Yan Emperor was known as first Chinese agriculture and medical ancestor who stands for race and cultivates talented people. Xiao Emperor inherited the knowledge of later heaven sequence Letter heaven sequence represents the process of change in the manifest world, systematic principles of nine plant movement. 
Jio Emperor was known as the first Chinese industrial ancestors who cherish his virtuous subordinates. The knowledge of Yellow Emperor, Yan Emperor, and Jio Emperor was transferred to Wang Tan Laozu. Wang Tan Laozu applied the great wisdom of primordial earlier heaven and the manifested later heaven of the three emperors and five kings formed Guigu culture. Guigu culture was the cornerstone of the Chinese culture melting pot. It will be an illuminous lamp for the world in the future. Wang Chan Laozu Da Tian Zun and Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi are in one. They furthermore develop and promote Guigu culture, utilizing the ancient wisdom in modern life and promote Guigu culture in Taiwan and overseas. It can be seen that Wei Xin Shen Zhao's Dharma heritage is derived from Kunlun civilization. We trace the origin back to the ancient Kunlun civilization, which including Wang Chan Laozu and Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi are in one. Kunlun civilization reproduced offspring and cultivates cultures generation after generation. Our founding purpose is to raise and cultivate talented people, revitalize and cultivate people's morals, refine ambitions, and create universal harmony. We aim at self-cultivation to benefit the country and pray for blessings for the people. Therefore, there is an eliminate disaster press him indicated as blow. Once we met at the spiritual mountain have been 10,000 years of light, 48 great votes illuminate the brightness. Hong Jun Lao to descend to the altar, together to turn the eliminate disaster Dharma well. The future of Wei Xin Shen Zhao will base on our destiny and continue to make great efforts to eliminate disasters and safeguard world peace without hesitation. We hope to make a contribution to world peace. This also is all the Wei Xin Shen Zhao virtuous fellows common wishes. For 34 years, Wei Xin Shen Zhao's commits to self-cultivation, to apprehend, to admonish, to practice, and to bridge Dharma. We will keep working hard and devote our learning to benefit the universe, together to turn the world peace Dharma well. Thank you for watching today's Wei Xin Shen Zhao feature story. See you next week. Next, for daily news of Wei Xin Shen Zhao Branch Temple, let's take a look at the Waiting to Press at Yilan Branch Temple. Wei Xin Shen Zhao Virtuous Fellow Lian from Yilan and Virtuous Fellow Hong from Da'an Temple have found each other as companions in life and got married on October 23rd at Yilan Branch Temple. Friends and family members from both the newlywed couple came to congratulate their marriage. The wedding was hosted by Master Yuan Dao, General Secretary of Wei Xin Shen Zhao Foundation, and Da'an Temple Abbot Master Yuan De. They sent their utmost blessings and served as the witnesses of this graceful moment. The friends and family members of the newlyweds are Wei Xin Shen Zhao Virtuous Fellows. The ceremony was held according to Wei Xin Shen Zhao Virtuous Fellows' wedding ceremony rite. First, the couple, the hosts, and the guests from both parties followed the master to chant the sutras and read the wedding testimonies out loud. It was for praying for blessings from Wang Chan Laozu and from the Bodhisattvas to bless them till death they part. Master Yuan Dao and Master Yuan De presided over the wedding, delivered their blessings and wished them to support each other during the ups and downs in life. After both parties finished the paperwork, the host representing the Lian family guided the groom and bride to burn the incense and report to the ancestors of the Lian family. They prayed for prosperity, fertility, and the well-beings of the newlyweds. The incense was then passed to the son from the father, signifying the continuity of the family and the responsibilities the newlyweds need to shoulder. Under the guidance of the MC, the groom and bride did three kowtows to the patriarch of the Lian family, expressing their gratitude to their parents. The patriarch happily held them up and blessed them. After the groom unveiled the wedding veil of the bride and bowed to each other for three times, the ceremony was completed. We wish the happiness of this newlywed couple. Weixing TV at Yilan. Take a break. We will come back soon. On international academic and education exchanges of Yijin, Oriental Classic Studies Association of Taekyung University of Korea came to visit Wei Xin Shen Zhao. 
one of the scholars Park Yong Ho has taken refuge to Wang Chan Lao Tzu, and he is also the adjunct lecturer of Wei Xin Shen Jiao College. He is committed to the religious academic exchanges between Wei Xin Shen Jiao and Korea. Chairman Dan Itse Yong has represented Taekyung University in signing an academic exchange agreement. Together, the two parties will promote the values of world peace and Yijin Feng Shui education. Let's take a look. On October 20th to October 22nd, members from Dikyang College and Oriental Classical Research Association of Korea visited Wei Xin Sheng Jia and signed the academic exchange agreements with Wei Xin Sheng Jia. In the future, both colleges will communicate with each other in the academic field and to enhance the understanding and communication. On October 21st, Chairman Yu and Director Li of Dick Young College led their members and were accompanied by President Chen of Wei Xin Sheng Jiao College together began the tour. First, they visited Taichung Branch Temple and Wei Xin TV station. Abad Master Yuan Yi of Taichung Branch Temple personally explained to the guests about Wei Xin Sheng Jiao's Dharma heritage and the construction of Taichung Branch Temple. General Manager Mr. Yuan Feng of Wei Xin TV station made a presentation to the guests on the seventh floor, Yang Xian Hall. He introduced that Wei Xin TV station is shoulder up the responsibility of Wei Xin Sheng Jiao's Dharma preaching media. He also introduced the production and operation of Wei Xin TV station and let the guests visit the Wei Xin TV station to understand the program production process. Then the guests went to Wei Xin Sheng Jiao's headquarters sent for temple. Mr. Yuan Ping, director of the lecture training department, greeted the guests after worshipped the Buddhas. Mr. Yuan Ping explained the history of Sen for temple and the process of Grand Mason Yuan Chan Si began religious practice. He let the guests visit the museum, Tathagata Garden, and some other places. He introduced the history of Wei Xin Sheng Jiao and Grand Mason Yuan Chan Si of Dharma propagation. On this tour, the most important was both colleges signed academic exchange agreements. In the morning on October 22nd, Chairman Yu, Dr. Li, and their members came to Wei Xin Sheng Jiao College. Master Yuan Quan let the guests visit the Heavenly Heart Pond, Southern Heavenly Gate, Night Dragon Wall. Later on, the ceremony of signed agreements was held at Wei Xin Sheng Jiao College's Quan Xian Hall. Before the ceremony, Grand Mason Yuan Chan Si made a speech and instructed. Uh, this is Yeah, 尤其韓文化與中華文化共同點是宇宙的密碼就是韓文化與中華文化的意見風水學所以啊創造了三十四年目的是需要天下一家親剛才我們在休息室我們董事長他開設了大千大學是一個大喜的事情應該慶祝的大學校那即是天下一家千的大學就是大千大學本維新聖教學院和一間大學所傳的話是終身學習也是終身平安的中華文化道統與韓文化道統的融合唯一的話法所以有很多很多的理由以後我們會陸陸續續的來交流所以今天我們就從當下開始簽署學術交流我們的
合约啊，这个是代表啊我们天上的人间浇灌智慧的时候。Under the witness of Weixin Shengjiao students, President Chen of Weixin Shengjiao College and Director Li of Dayang College both signed academic exchange agreements. The ceremony was ended with applause of warm congratulations for the future. Both colleges will officially start to exchange. Weixin News, Weixin Shengjiao College. Continue on overseas Yijin education. Weixin Shengjiao College Hong Kong Lecture Hall started the Yijin Studies class on October 18th. Weixin Shengjiao College's Hong Kong Lecture Hall started the class of Everyone Learn Yijin Studies on October 18th in the afternoon at 3 p.m. Hong Kong Lecture Hall held the opening class ceremony at Hong Kong and Macau Taiwanese Charity Fund Limited. President Li Yechen of Weixin Shengjiao College was in charge of the opening ceremony. Mr. Yuan Jun of Yijing University is the teacher of the class. Under the great efforts of department head Zhi Wen Li of Weixin Shengjiao's Hong Kong District Yijing Education Promotion Department, then the Hong Kong Lecture Hall of Everyone Learn Yijing Studies class now is successfully started. During the opening ceremony, President Li Chen gave a briefing to the students on the Dharma heritage of the new religion of the world, Taiwan Weixin Shengjiao, and the true meaning of Yijing University's lifelong studies that matches the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization lifelong learning requirements. Students come to learn to be successful and to propagate the cultures of three ancestors and to practice filial piety. Founder of Hong Kong and Macau Taiwanese Charity Fund Limited personally attended the opening ceremony and listened to the whole class. Most of the students are the people from the cultural and educational fields. Many of them were former school principals and university professors, and some of them are business people. After listening to Mr. Yuan Jun's first class, many students asked questions eagerly. Mr. Yuan Jun followed Wang Chan Lao Zhu profound sutra and answered the students. When we know and not to tell others, that is not benevolent. When we don't know and talk about it, that is lack of wisdom. After the class, students will still actively interact with each other and look forward for the future classes. Weixin Shengjiao College is not only to promote Everyone Learn Yijing Studies class in Hong Kong District, but in the future also will promote overseas children to learn Yijing, let adults and children to learn Yijing, protect ourselves, not to harm others, Furthermore, to help others and to attain world peace as our wishes. Weixin News, Hong Kong Lecture Hall. Take a break. We will come back soon. Grandmaster Hui Yuan Chan Shi instructed that the start of world peace is the veneration of our ancestors. Therefore, be in the routine rituals or annual special ritual, they are the solid practice of our pursuit to world peace. With solemn and grandeur religious rites, including applying the instruments of Chan Qi, for example, the age treasure testimonies, the holy water of Tian Shan Tian Shi, we grasp the chances every ritual offers to venerate the spirits of our ancestors and the spirits in the Dharma world, bring peace to the underworld and this world. Recently, our branch temples have completed the celebration ritual for the birthday of Eva Logech Vela. Let's take a look at the magnificent moments. Weixin Shenjiao celebrated the birth of Guangyi in Chenshan Xianfo Temple and each branch temple of Weixin Shenjiao on October 19th and having dedicated for Dharma direction, appreciated but thought about helping people from the Buddha land and prayed that everything is going to be well. Guangyi but thought about had a deep connection with the Buddha land, helping countless people, so folk regarded all of the birthday. The Enlightened Day and Monk Day as the holy birth of Guanyin Bodhisattva. Therefore, we held the ritual in late three days and sincerely supported to appreciate Guanyin Bodhisattva helped sentient beings on the Buddha land. 
Master Yuan Yao Chinese Gregor Immortal Master Heavenly Virtual Sutra, the Universal Door of Guanxiling Bodhisattva, main preface of Chinese joint celebration about 12 platforms, the 12 platform worship paper of Chinese joint celebration, and so on. We celebrated the holy birth and reported the rite about the 12th altar with venerating ancestors together of the Chinese nation and prayed for the successful celebration at the heavenly altar from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on October 19th. Meanwhile, Master Yuan Ban of Pingdong Xianfa class also led the virtuous fellow to chant the Great Immortal Master Heavenly Virtual Sutra and the Universal Door of Guanxiling Bodhisattva in front of the icon of Guanxiling Bodhisattva on the wisdom pout in the class. Grandmaster Huyuan Changshi instructed that Xianfa class could have Guanyin Bodhisattva on the wisdom pout when he parrot, because the way came from tender heart in the class. Via Master Yuan Ban and Shi Shu sought for the icon of Guanyin and the Xianfa class with Hanqing class support together. They finally followed their heart to get Guanyin icon to God. Master Yuan Ban prayed that they could shine with the Guanyin with dragon in Shenfu Temple, blessing virtuous fellow to have wise and confidence, encouraging them to learn the spirit of Guanyin and helping each other to have safety, bright future, and Fu Hui growth. Virtuous fellow Li from Hunei Branch Temple shared her appreciate with us. 今天正好是观世音菩萨出家纪念日还有圆理法师提供我们这么好的平台一起来行功力的共转法文也非常感谢三宝寺的圆蒙法师呢时常下来当山道场指导我们半辈的法音以及法音 News For this week's social service of Weixin Shenjiang on October 23rd Virtuous Fellows from Zhanghua Region participated in the Care for the Underprivileged and Light Up the Life Charity Fair. They donated the money gained from the fair to community care and the underprivileged. Let's go to Zhanghua Erlin Elementary School for a look. One of virtuous fellow Wang Pei Hu, former director of charity in Zhanghua County, the president of Weixinism Merit Foundation Erlin Town, Led Weixing Shenjiao Veterans Fellow attended the Care for the Underprivileged and Light of the Life Fair on 23rd, the fair held by a charity in Zhanghua County in Erling Elementary School. All attended participants supported the booth putting up, gave assistance to the underprivileged, donated all earned profit, and performed concern to people in needs. Mr. Wang joins public welfare activities aggressively. Last year, he held some activities when he was director of charity in Zhanghua County, including visiting alone people without dependents and people in need. This year, many veterans fellow attended the fair to support the booth by performing divination through Yi Jing. They helped people solve the difficulties in life, give people guidance in career, and provide hope and support. The fair attracted booths from 52 organizations from various industries and the performance is sponsored by groups of residents community. The fair ended in the afternoon successfully with a raised donation and the donation will be used to allow people without dependents and people in needs of the same residents community. Weixin News, Zhanghua. Thank you for joining us today on Weixin English News. Every Monday at 11.30 p.m. and every Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. of Taiwan local time, we will be serving you the most detailed news of Weixin Shenjiang. Wang Chen Lao Zhu bless you and your family. See you next time. <music>